Do, 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 do. I eat games. Yeah. Hey, partners. Mark here. And today we're going to be talking about robbing the Valentine's doctor. Turns out the guy's a little shady. He's got a little side business going on. I'm going to show you how to infiltrate that and how to make some money doing it. Now, first thing we need to do is find a good getaway spot. Go ahead and hit your horse here at this spot because we're going to be running out the front door. That's the only door out of that place. Um, so hit your horse right there and be sure you have chewing tobacco and a fast rifle like a repeater or something like that. Um, I tried to find some place in the back at first and I couldn't find a good place to hitch the horse or I thought about a carriage, but carriages are kind of too slow. So go ahead and hitch up front. Now this door in the back, that is actually, we're going to be interacting with that door, but you cannot leave, you can't exit that door. And this little building here is where the shady little business is happening. Um, turns out he's dealing with the O'Driscolls. So that window is going to start us on our mission. You can go, you can go rob him, but you kind of need to interact with the window first in order to infiltrate the business in the back. You have to have the knowledge of what's going on. So go ahead and press L2 when you get up to this window. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner it says "Look," and that is an O'Driscoll there counting money, doing something kind of shady. What is the doctor doing at, act, interacting with those O'Driscolls? Well, we're going to go find out. Actually, no, we're not going to go find out. We're going to go tell him we know about it. Um, so if you look in the upper left-hand corner, you could say, well, you have found a hidden operation. And so now you can rob the shop's side business. And that's what we intend to do. So go ahead and after that, the second step is come over here and knock on this door. You can see in the bottom right there, wait for that to pop up. And if you have subtitles turned on, subtitles with names, what do you, you can see it's an O'Driscoll right there. Yep. Okay, so now that we have that knowledge, we're going to go up to the front, and we're actually going to go rob. Well, we're not going to rob. We're going to hold him up. Um, you definitely don't want to shoot him. You don't want to do anything but aim your gun at him and threaten him. So let's work our way around to the front door here. Don't bump into anybody. We don't want to make anything <laughs> weird or uncomfortable. Now, once you get in, this is the point where you want to put your mask on, which I didn't do. This is not the correct way to do it. <laughs> so put your mask on, and if you look in the right where it says aim weapon, you're going to squeeze R2 so that we can hold him up, but don't shoot him. Because if you shoot him, everything's going to go downhill. Because we need him to open the door in the back. So go ahead and aim your weapon at him. Whoa, what the hell's the gun for? And so we're going to go through some dialogue here. But just be sure you keep your reticle on him. Even though he's going to say, oh, you don't want to get involved with him. Yeah, we do. We want to get involved with him. Um, we want to take them out. And we want the money and the other goodies. There's a good uh, pistol back here. And we want that pistol. So... Yeah, a little late there, Mark. <laughs> All right, so at this point, let's uh, let's go ahead and listen to the conversation, and then I'm going to stop it for a second. Right, O'Driscoll number two. Yep. So it's your choice here if you want to kill him or not. I didn't. I think maybe I probably should have. So if you want to do a quieter approach, you can. You can use knives here, take him out, and then take out the other guys. That'll buy you a little more time, but you can go in guns blazing like me which didn't work for me, but I think you can make that work and then there's the nuke option. Throw some dynamite back there and blow everybody up. Um, I think the dynamite's probably <laughs> the most fun and it's actually the fastest way to do it. But either way, you're gonna have to get through here and you're gonna have to do it quickly. I'm gonna show you how to do this quickly. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. I'm gonna pause this. So we have one, two, three, four people we need to take out. Now, if... Uh, this is where we need Deadeye, right, to take these guys out. Also, we need the money. To, we got to get the money that's on the table, and then there's a Schofield revolver that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and let this roll. Um, oh, by the way, yeah, there's a chest back here. Ignore the chest. If you want, if you feel like you have enough time to get it, get the chest, but I, I don't think there's any money in that chest. I think it's actually just some goodies. Now, I didn't grab my repeater. I totally botched this. Look how awful I am at this game. I figured it'd be fun, though, to use this as the example. Um, you can see how awful I am at shooting these guys. Oh, my God. Now, pay attention to the upper right-hand corner. Um, it's hard to when this is all going down, but because of the gunshots, they're already investigating, so the clock is ticking. Um, and so they're going to... But they don't know who has done it yet. I almost died, by the way, here. Look at this. 
I have very, very little health left. It's a good thing she had to reload her gun. Man, I am so bad at this game. Uh, to my credit, though, this is the very first time I did this, and I didn't know anything about it. Now, there's the uh, Schofield. We're going to pick that up. And if you do everything properly, I think you can get in and out of here very quickly without getting in trouble. Now, pay attention to, because of all the bodies, it's kind of screws things up. I actually ended up picking up a body when I was trying to get that money because I wasn't, I, I'm in the wrong spot. And you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, they're investigating. These, they are coming. And so I'm confident that if you follow my guide here, you come in, take out those guys, grab the money, grab the Schofield revolver and run hitch on your horse you can get out of here with a just a little bounty but you got to stand right there to pick up the money you can't be on the other side of the table so there's the chest i say ignore it um you cannot get out this door i was trying to i was trying to find if there's a way to sort of move that um that bar across and i'm just blowing time look if you look in the the radar they are coming for me i mean i am not screwed, but I'm in trouble. So one of the things I could have done, I could hide over here behind the wall because they still haven't, it's an unknown spec suspect. They don't know it's me yet. Um, and right here is when they discovered me. But one thing I could have done is I could hit around that corner with a knife or even just a pistol and taken him out. But it, it doesn't really matter at this point. So if you run, 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 if I had hitched my horse right there properly, I could have gotten on the horse and run. Look, my bounty is only $6.50 at that point. That's totally fine, and it's worth it for the money that we're getting and for uh, the pistol. But my horse isn't there anymore where I left him. Um, he he totally took off and left me, <laughs> and so I was in trouble. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It does help me out quite a bit. It helps me continue to make these videos. Um, I'm going to let this run so you can see the bounty tick up and how much it's, it costs me. Um, I'm just running and running and running, and it's kind of hilarious, and um, you can see the outcome. Thanks, guys, for checking out my video. I appreciate it. Hopefully, this has been helpful for you.